Hi everyone, how are we? Let's just ignore my, my hair. It kind of looks like I've been struck by lightning. Anyway, I am just here to talk about this little incident. I had a lot of people express care and concern for me and I just want to say thank you so much and thank you so much for all of the support on the crazy ride that was Australian Idol. You have no idea how much it means to me. Like, ah, my God. I'm just gonna get straight into it because I wanna try and do this under three minutes because I'm a, a yapper, I'm just yapping away. And I've recorded this too many times. Okay, so I'm just gonna preface this with those last two days of Australian Idol for me were absolute horror. My body, my soul, my mind was hanging on by an absolute thread. Yeah, I got sick and it hit me for six. Like, I was not well. Day one of grand finale, I woke up and I was like, huh, feels like I'm swallowing knives. That's awesome. I love this. It was okay. Pushed through it. Um, did it as best as I could. I did take some cold and flu meds, which kind of helped with pain and all of that. So I was okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> then I woke up on day two of grand finale and I couldn't talk. Uh... I was very concerned. Thankfully, I have a sister who is a surgeon and also just like a fucking, like the best person ever. I text her, I text her, I'm just like, hey, help. <laughs> she wasn't too far away as well. So she was just like, come into the emergency department and I'll take care of you. She had a colleague there that is an ENT. Pranav, you are a G and you saved me. Thank you so much. So Pranav, the ENT, uh, did this, I'm just going to insert a clip because I can't really explain it. Alright there? Mm hmm Do you want to move on? Okay. Looks okay. Just a big R. So that is a camera down my nose, all the way to my throat, just having a little peek at any, any issues because my main concern was nodes, polyps, which could cause permanent damage and I was like, ah! I don't know about it. Singing through that, I don't know about it. But it was just super red, raw and inflamed. I had a viral infection, so there was really not much that could be done. But they fixed me by injecting me with a, a steroid, which I was like, huh, you're gonna inject what with me? But it saved me, <laughs> it saved me. So yeah, they injected me with this steroid it worked within a couple of hours and it reduced the inflammation around my cords so I could talk again. Um, it didn't feel fantastic, but it felt like worlds better than I did when I woke up. No voice, having a voice. And physically it made me feel better because that morning I felt like a corpse. Um, yeah, love that. But that's what happened. I am still recovering from it because the steroid kind of put a pause on my sickness and then delayed my healing time. So I'm still recovering, but we are recovering and it's all good. Yeah, I just wanted to to share because I, those last two days were so hectic. They were so hectic. Uh, I'm doing really well now though, and I'm working on some really exciting stuff that I can't wait to share with you when I can finally say something, but um, stay tuned and peace and love to you all and no tears for all those haters. It's an emotional gal, okay? How are you going to hate on someone for crying? I see it though.